Hey guys, Chris and Jamie here of Tillman Family Farms. Um, today, we're moving some pigs around. We moved some pigs around yesterday. Um, but I want to do a long-term review on Starkline netting. Um, we've been using it for quite some time now. And we have been really, really, really rough on this stuff. We've drug it through the woods. We've run pigs in it when it's not really designed for that. Um, and, and we've been keeping chickens in it. So we're going to do a long-term review on it. <clears throat> um, there's also a discount code that we can uh, offer to you guys for 10% off of Starkline uh, netting or anything they sell. <clears throat> so that'll be down in the description below. And um, let me finish setting this one up and we will go over the netting itself and how well it stood up to the abuse we've put it through. All right, so traditionally we feel like our viewers uh, watch most of our content for pigs and chickens. We do a lot of other things. We do repairs and, and uh, every now and again we talk about hunting or, or maybe something that we're building or something like that. But a lot of that, a lot of the building stuff pertains to uh, the animals. But so we're going to talk about the netting and uh, keeping pigs in it first. So we've had moderate success with keeping pigs just in the netting. Um, and when I say moderate success, we did it that way for a long time. Um, we tried just a single strand of electric right off the bat. Um, and I think that we made some mistakes when we did that. Uh, we had the pig, we released piglets a little too close to another group that was staying in the electric um, as a single strand. But we, we went to the netting because we just thought that the group that we had at the time uh, was not going to respect the single wire and they weren't they were jumping it they were running under it all kind of stuff so um, we went to the netting and right off the bat it worked great so as you can see behind me um, this is really the first area that we used the netting in and this was I mean it's pretty well cleared out now there was a lot of smaller brushies type stuff in here a lot of sticker vines and everything else like that when we first started running netting through here so you can only imagine um how difficult it was to set this netting up with all of that stuff going on uh and when we took it down you know you couldn't just pull it all to one spot and pick it up you had to walk it through you had to move it between stuff so that was a little difficult with it being in a wooded or brushy area. Um, and that caused some damage to this fence. So I cannot say that that was the animals that did this damage. Hey, Jane. What caused damage? Uh, the brush and all that stuff as we're dragging, the, dragging it through. Oh, it, well, we had horses get in it a little. Yeah, so, the, so there, we're, we're about to get in all that stuff. Yeah. So like we were talking about a few minutes ago, um, we have moderate success with just the netting by itself and what we learned and i'll show you some of these spots but what we learned uh is that sometimes if some of these strands get broken the netting and you get a little complacent with it or whatever um then it, it, sometimes you'll lose a section of the wire that's not hot anymore and um when that happens, the pigs will nose under it. And if they get their nose or, or head or even their ears past it, they're, they're going through it, not away from it. Uh, it's just the way their mind works. In a lot of cases, they learn and respect it enough to where they don't even test it. They don't even try it. But, I mean, there has been days where we've accidentally left the charger off and, and had zero problems. But in a lot of cases, we've had a lot of problems with that. <laughs> so um, what we've done is we still use the netting, but we've started running a hot wire on the inside of the netting. It's much easier to keep up with that as far as how, um, you know, is it good, is it not good? You only have one thing to check. You can check it on this side of the pin, check it on the other side of the pin, and, and if you've got continuity on both sides, you're good. So <clears throat> um, there's a lot of other people that do that successfully since we've started doing it that way. We've had a lot of success in maintaining the pigs and where we want them to be um almost zero problems with it that way unless we leave the charger turned off by accident we, we say accident it happens all right so i want to show you this uh so this is a repair so this particular one from Starkline, this is their sheep and goat netting 
so the difference is it has these plastic uprights between everything so the horizontals are hot and these just help the fence stand up better we really like this one when we got it because it, it stood up a little bit better than the one that's just all wire but what happened right here was that at this joint the wire broke and then on this side it broke over here and then the same thing down there so what we did was we just basically tied it back together with some single strand wire so that it would have continuity uh, and when i say continuity i mean it, that that the wire will conduct electricity all the way across uh so <clears throat> that's one spot like see even down here see like that upright broke right there um so we stopped relying on just the netting itself for pigs now we're talking about pigs we're not talking about chickens We've had zero problems with the chicken netting. And uh, I, I, I have found some things with the Starkline netting that we feel like are way better than the Premier One. So we'll go over that when we get to chicken netting. I'm gonna show you a couple other places with this and then we'll move on from uh, the pig netting and I'll give you my opinion. All right, so next step to this. So a lot of different companies offer different things. They, they uh, Some of the posts just have a single spike on them. Those are really hard to get in the ground sometimes, especially around here, we have a lot of rocks and things like that. So this is a really rugged design and there's no metal in here. So there's no chance of the electric wire on these rungs right here, getting caught on the metal and grounding out. <clears throat> but one problem that we have with these things. So with the rocks in the ground, so this one's kind of an example. So these things get bent up and I'm constantly having to bend these things back together you know um so that's one thing but i don't think that's a start line problem i think that's a double spike problem um i think that these spikes have held up really well the the fiberglass poles have held up really well we've had maybe two or three instances where these poles have broken and they break they break right here because what happens is this whole pole is fiberglass and then this whole metal structure is up into this shaft just a little bit. And what's happened is we'll have a chicken set, we'll move the chickens and we'll leave it set up and we won't have it hot. And we run horses through here <laughs> and the horses want the grass on the other side. So they'll bend it over and it'll break right there. And a lot of times, so like the horses, this, this doesn't even come chest high on them yeah so, so once they, can, they realize it ain't gonna zap them they're going through it yeah but in that same token will the horses respect it when it's on oh, yeah, even absolutely. as short as it is yep yep we have horses mm -hmm. that will will stay in this and, and i mean no problem we can set up temporary paddocks with it uh and it works great um and, and realistically for horses horses are, are pretty daggum smart you can put it on there and, and just have it hot one time and it'll zap them and then you can turn it off and, and they'll they stay off go, of yeah, it, they won't so. go back to it moving right along so right now we have five different um, pig sets right now. So we got this one behind us. We got one in a training pen right here. We've got some breeders up in a permanent pen. And then we have two more sets of netting out in the big pasture. So we are one length of the normal either goat and sheep netting or the utility netting that we use for pigs so we've actually used one of the uh, sets of premier one uh, chicken netting with the pigs i want to show you what i'm talking about with the wire uh, on the netting for poultry netting with the spikes from the start line versus premier one so i've got them in the ground right side by side so it's going to be easy to look at them and tell so let's look at that real quick and then we're going to get into the poultry netting which we have had zero problems with it's good stuff all right so you'll be able to tell really quick right off the bat so on the left hand side here we have uh this is the goat and sheep netting from starkline it's a little bit shorter than the uh the poultry netting that's beside it so this is another cool thing about the starkline so this is Starkline and Premier One married up. Same kind of clips and all that stuff. So if you already have some existing netting, don't worry about uh, the things that, you know, you would think about, well, how are they gonna connect and all that stuff, exactly the same. So what I wanna talk about though, is the poles and the netting. So we talked about earlier, 
that uh -oh, turn things up so that the, these right here these horizontal are the ones that are hot so now if you look right here at the bottom see that metal showing right there so what happens a lot of times with premier one netting is that this horizontal will work its way down so like how that one's up there like that they'll all work their way down and then eventually sometimes this can get caught around the metal and it will ground out your netting look at this premier one or this uh, stark line pole this is all the way up over the fiberglass so you got this nice black step that steps in the ground versus this metal right there that gets all bent up but this one right here there's no way for these verticals to get down on some metal and ground out your fence so pole wise as long as we're talking fiberglass to fiberglass they're they're extremely better than the premier one start line stuff is head over heels uh, a, a much better product in that neighborhood So we're in the process of replacing a lot of our egg layers. So this is a group probably of about 50. Um, and then we have a whole entire brooder right here beside us that has replacement birds in it. It's probably 130, 40, something like that in there. But, <clears throat> so this is a combination of two of Starkline's poultry nettings, okay? So this one right here, is their premium netting i believe this is a 48 inches um nice rugged poles just like the ones that we were just looking at and then here beside it this is stark lines poultry netting gate now i have a, a whole different video on this thing this is one of the best poultry netting gates i've seen there's a lot of companies out there that have them this one's actually got a frame on it it works really well so you have hinges on this side so these two big tall black poles come with it the poles go in the ground and then they just slide over that pole and that creates your hinge side okay so now you back up you go to this side and just at the top of your gate you have this one hinge and it just slides over the top of it so basically you reach over here and you grab this pole it doesn't have any netting so you don't have to turn this off you can grab this thing up here and then you can just pick this up and swing your gate in and you have an open gate like i said the two poles come with it um, they have this thing set up to where uh, it has a wire right there this is off by the way um, but it's got a little clip and you can clip this whole thing right here back to the fence over there and it'll keep this hot we like to connect ours a little bit different so we use those alligator clips there and i've got one clip to the um, to the uh, fence itself and then i've got the other let's see so basically i have them I have the connector from the fence to the gate and then alligator clip to the charger and then we will use another alligator clip to this side but the difference uh, uh, let me let me get over here to this other and i'll show you the difference between the premium and then the regular poultry netting from starkline so if you were to buy the starter kit from starkline that comes with a solar charger i think they have a plug-in charger version as well um, and it comes with 164 feet of their uh, regular poultry netting. Okay, I'm about to show you the difference. Uh, so we use two of these and I've got them married up right here to where they connect. So you'll be able to see the differences in them side by side. And I'll talk about the differences. The, the poles and the height is the biggest difference here. Um, so I'll talk to you about that, what my experiences are with those and how I feel about them. All right, so both of what you're looking at here, both of them are stark line netting. So the one on the left is the, the premium with fiberglass poles. The one on the right is their standard with PVC poles, okay? So they both have double spikes at the bottom. Uh, I think these spikes are more or less like the 
premier one, I think. Yeah, they're just metal spikes there. So they don't have that nice big black foot peg on there. Uh, so these, you could still have the same problem that the uh, Premier One does if this horizontal were to slide down on the metal somehow. But I don't have any problems with this fence. I was really, really frustrated with it at first because I hadn't had a fence that just had PVC poles. And um, I'm gonna show you right now what I'm talking about and then how we fixed that problem. And now we have zero problems with this netting. All right, so you see how this fence is, is just hanging and drooping like this all the way around this side of here too. So what happens with these PVC poles is that they're just not, they're just not very sturdy, okay? Um, in the kit with this one, it comes with some spikes and some extra rope and things like that. And what they want you to do is they, they're, they're kind of like a tent stake. They want you to drive that tent stake back there and then they want you to tie it from the tent stake to the pole and then tighten it back so that it does that. Um, that takes a, a, a lot of extra time and effort. So I'm going to back up and I'm going to show you what we do in situations like this, okay? All right, so here's the difference. So a minute ago, you saw this piece of fence itself sagging. And now it's standing up. It took me all of two seconds to take this extra pole right here stand it up at an angle and push it over and connect it. Now, this particular extra pole that I've used right here, that is a Premier One pole, but Starkline does have poles that they can send you for this same use. And I have some, I'm looking around right now and I don't see one, but I, I will show you one here in just a second. But, but that right there, so, I mean, literally, See the difference? Now, two seconds. Just like that. So that's what we've done with this particular set of netting that has PVC post, and it has made a world of difference, and it has made it to where this stuff works just fine for us, and we love it. All right, so this is a Starkline pole. This is a Starkline video, and I, I had a Premier One pole in there. Sorry about that, guys. Anyhow, um, we did start off with some Premier One stuff. Have not bought anything from them since the first thing that we bought from Starkline about two and a half years ago. So their spare poles are just like their premium poles. They have the foot with the double spikes. And then you go up, 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 up. And then you have a split at the top. Come on, fuckers, focus. Maybe I won't focus. Anyhow, but you, same, same concept here. Real rugged poles, nice. You can use them to replace poles in your netting, or you can use them as support like I'm doing here. So if you guys are still watching this video at this point, I think that you know what I'm about to say. <clears throat> we are a big fan of the Starkline netting. Um, it does a fantastic job for us. It's easy to set up uh, just like any other netting that you're used to. Um, if you've been wondering about it and wondering about the price and the availability, normally when we order, there's no back order. Uh, we don't have to wait on things like that, like some of your, your uh, more popular brands out there that have been around for a while. Uh, Starkline is normally in stock and they can normally ship it right out. Uh, so, those are big positives in what we're doing because a lot of times we'll get out here and you know we'll be like oh my gosh you know we, we we've got this whole set and, and we need another piece of netting or we need something and we just have overlooked it and, and we can get online and order something up and have it in a couple of days so um all in all uh over time uh you know two years worth of use constant use all the time um, it, it has stood up to the abuse that we've put it through and has done extremely well. Um, you know, you're going to have things like this tear up when you put them through the abuse of, of animals that, that are, are going to do what they want to do sometimes and they're going to tear stuff up. And then, of course, when we're setting it up, dragging it and, and you know, not taking care of it the way that we probably should, it, it's taking some damage that way. Um, now, if you were to use this in an open pasture with sheep or, or you know, with, with 
primarily chickens out in open pasture, no woods at all, no stumps, no snags, no nothing like that. This stuff is gonna last you for a very, very, very long time without any damage to it at all. So we do recommend stark line netting um, and, and it does have its perks over Premier One. So if you're out there, if you're watching and you've been trying to make up your mind what you wanna buy, try it out, it's really good stuff. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we love all the comments and everything, and, and we love interacting with you guys. So please leave comments, questions, or anything like that. We always answer everything. may not be right away, but we always answer everything. But anyhow, uh, we're going to close this one down, and we will see you on the next video.